Welcome everybody, this is Dinosaur Land. What? In this strange land we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again and looks like Bowser's at it again. Oh, I didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, dude. Oh, I was so confused. Drop in a uh, hint. So, we're doing a playthrough of this game, Super Mario World. The first video game that I ever played. Ever played. Ever played. Ever and ever. Like, ever. ever forever. Well, maybe, maybe not the first one that I played, but the first one I owned. Okay, okay. Because my first console was a Super Nintendo. And uh, this was a huge game on it. Did this blow your mind? Yeah, dude. Did you just play this whenever you well, want? Well, like, the, the, just video games in general blew my Cause mind. Because my favorite thing about gaming was, like, it blew my mind that I could just pick it up and play whenever I wanted. Right. And that, like, because, like, and it, uh, my favorite thing was when you'd go to uh, the arcade, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, you'd play the games. And then when a arcade game would come to mm -hmm. the fucking uh, consoles, yeah, yeah, it was like it was crazy. What can I do here? Whoa, uh, whoa, oh. boom! Oh, gotcha! Get out of here, Dino! Yeah, that, that's why I go back to saying like when you you could play, you know, as as long as you wanted to or, or whenever you wanted, because I always played in arcades and shit, and then all of a sudden. I, my, my parents got me a console that wasn't theirs. They, they wouldn't let me play their Super Nintendo. Really? Yeah, like, ever, barely, because if they were playing it, they were playing it. You right. know what I mean? I guess, but like... And I got N64. See, that was the one thing I always appreciated about my house was that I was the only one that played video games. Like, yeah. Like, when my brother lived there, and that was for a very short time, like, he had his Sega, and I wasn't allowed to play the Sega. I, although I would, but like, you know. Uh... But other than like my mom liked Tetris on the Super Nintendo, mm -hmm. and she would uh, pl she would play that, and uh, you know, but it was like it's not like she was playing it all the time. Yeah, like, you she know, wouldn't I, spend twelve hours playing Tetris. No way. And uh, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, on the Game Boy, she liked the Tetris game, like the OG Tetris yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But the one that she specifically liked was on the Super Nintendo, and it was the one where you were like, you had to break these little fucking shiny things. And I like, don't know if I played that. Like, 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 the, it, the things dropped, like normal Tetris things. Mm -hmm. And then every, like, but like, but like it, on the board were little shiny bricks. Of very oh, okay, colors. yes, yes, yes. And you had to break those bricks to win. So, like, the, uh, it wasn't just, like, clearing things. It was, like, you had to, like, stack them to get even up to that. You know what I mean? That's a whole other layer of Tetris, huh? It's an iconic level. Iconic this level. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, like... Whenever I think of Super Mario World, I think of this one. Because when I was a kid, like, you know, this was, like, the first level. I didn't really understand saving games, so mm -hmm. I just thought you had to, like, fucking restart the whole thing. That's... Tragic. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> it yeah. really is. And, like, it's also, like, the first level you see Yoshi, and that's sweet, because Yoshi's awesome. Just blow your mind. It's where, this is where uh, people, older people, fell in love with Yoshi. He's, he's an, a lovable bastard. In fact, this may have been, like, the first game I was trying Yoshi. to, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Because, because Yoshi didn't have a game until Mario. Spun, like, ah, the cause for ah, a spin-off. Yoshi, Yoshi, please! <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, like... Then, and, and, like, you know what? I also, like, loved Yoshi because in games, like, later on, like, uh, uh, like, what is it? Mario Kart and shit. He was always, like, the most unique-looking fucker. I know there's a... Uh, yeah. He's the only non-humanoid. Well, there's Toad. And Donkey Kong. I'd call Donkey Kong humanoid. <laughs> Donkey Kong? Yeah. He, first, off, he's a first off, he's a primate. Second off, he's a human. He's, like, got the arms, he's got the legs, he walks, he's smart, he, he thinks... Yaks. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and Toad is human. Uh, right? He's just got a mushroom head. Toad is absolutely not human. Y humanoid. 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 I guess. Human features. He's a little guy. A little guy. I always thought that was a hat for the longest time. I didn't even mm. know that was really his brain. Really? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, you know what? We'll do this level uh, on the 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 next episode. Anyway, thank you everybody for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw. More importantly, everybody, don't forget to check out GigabyteGames.com for all the latest gaming news and industry updates. We'll see you guys next time.
Peace out. Thanks for stopping by.